Which part of the image is colored black? We see here some squares and a place to put a fraction. So what we're going to do is count the total of squares and how many black squares there are. And with that, we can make a fraction. So let's go ahead and figure that out now. So how many squares do you see? Okay, we can count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight squares in total, but how many are black? Right, just one. We have one black square. So as a fraction, that would be one out of eight of the squares are black. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one. So there are a lot of squares here, but we can total them up faster by multiplication. If we count the number of squares across and times them by the number of squares going down, we can figure out how many squares there are. So there are three squares going across and one, two, three, four, five squares going down. Okay, so five times three equals 15. So we know that we have 15 squares in total. How many black squares do we have? Let's count those now. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black squares. So seven out of the 15 squares are black. Seven over 15. Okay, again, we'll multiply going across and going down. So how many squares? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five squares going across and one, two, three, four, five going down. So five times five equals 25. So we have 25 squares in total. Now we need to count all the black squares, but we can do it fast. Okay, let's count them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen black squares. So that would be seventeen out of 25 are black, or 17 over 25, making our fraction. Okay, I think we can easily see how many we have. There's two across and three going down, so two times three is six. Okay, and how many black squares do we have? One, two, three. So our fraction would be three over six, but this can be reduced for more. What can we divide them by? They are both divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 6 is 2, or 1 half. Great work solving these problems.